Hello, my name is Ashley Share. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fun. Today we are going to do um, a 10 minute meditation for incarcerated women. So feel free to get comfortable. It is called high self-esteem. So you can choose your position. We will make that our first step to empowerment. Um, so however you want to sit, I have my knees up. Um, I am exercising um, my decision-making power to boost my high self-esteem by saying, you know what, I'm gonna put my knees up. You can have um, whatever position you choose and you can switch it up throughout the meditation. So please make yourself comfortable. You can have a soft gaze or close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath, letting go of any tension that you feel. Allow yourself to feel yourself sinking into the surface that you are resting on. You just got a little splash from the dogs. Feel yourself becoming still more comfortable and relaxed. Take another slow, deep breath and know that in this moment, all is well. into your heart center, the energy center in the middle of your chest, and notice a softness there. Imagine all of the energy you've sent out into the world lately coming back home to your heart, helping you to feel more whole and more complete. Quietly receive this energy and know that for now, it is okay to simply be here and be relaxed. Bring yourself more fully into your heart as if you were standing there now inside a cozy room. Soon you'll notice a small child there within the room of your heart. It's you at about five years of age. We'll just call this person your inner child. Your inner child is your most tender, vulnerable, impressible self. Knows quite a lot about how you became the person you are today. Take a moment to greet your inner child now and let them know that they are very welcome, loved, and appreciated by you. Also with you, in your own heart room is a very wise and loving person, one who has come to help teach and guide you and your inner child through this process. We'll just call this person your guide. Take a moment to acknowledge and embrace your guide and welcome them into your heart's room. As you all sit together, your guide begins talking to your inner child. And just as you listen, your guide begins to say, I am so glad you're here, little one, because there's so much I wanted to tell you. And you've never been more ready to hear this than you are at this moment. So listen well and receive this information and the healing that I have for you now. It's possible that you grew up in a situation where you were taught that you were less than fully appreciated and precious to other people. But if that was the case, you were misinformed and it is time to correct this. The real truth is that you are unique and wonderful, fascinating human being. You have amazing potential to live a creative, satisfying life full of love. No one is quite like you. All of the things you currently think of as your shortcomings are in the larger things, marks of your character that will eventually blossom into miracles. Every struggle and difficulty 
brings you a measure of strength, insight, and the ability to love others more fully. And now it is time for you to begin to receive more love for yourself. In the presence of your guide, embrace your inner child now. Pure love into them. Let them know how much you love and care for them. are a loving person. Feel the hurt, feelings of not receiving the love that you needed begin to melt away. Notice that where there may have been dark places in your body and mind, they are now being filled with light and love and a softness. Take some time to embrace this. Your guide continues to speak to you now directly. Because of the way you were raised, perhaps you developed patterns of thinking and behavior that allowed others to treat you as though you were less than worthy. Perhaps you learned to not speak up when something was not right. Perhaps you got in the habit of making excuses for others when they didn't honor you as they should have. And perhaps you began to behave in negative ways towards yourself. It is time for these negative patterns within you to dissolve and change now so that you can move on to the next stage of your life in which you can experience greater freedom, happiness, and love. For that to happen, you must decide to make changes, think differently, act differently, and seek out whatever might support you to be necessary in this transition process. Consider the behavior pattern or habit that you believe most stands out in the way of your loving, honoring, and respecting self. This may be a negative way of thinking or feeling or doing. Imagine that you, your guide, and your inner child are now standing together in a circle of light, holding hands, and sending positive energy into your life for you to break free of this. Allow that energy to be represented by a specific color of your choosing. Take a moment to do this now. Envision yourself in a typical situation in which that pattern or habit might come up. And see and feel yourself receiving all that of that positive energy in the form of that colored energy. See and feel yourself filled and surrounded by that color and experience the support of yourself, your inner child, and your guide with you there. Now envision yourself altering your behavior so that instead of doing that negative pattern or habit, you're doing something positive that supports you. You might see yourself engaging with someone you know who would be a positive influence or a helper. This could be a friend or a counselor or teacher or coach or support group. Or you might see yourself doing an activity that you enjoy and feels uplifting. Perhaps it's a kind of physical exercise, hobby, or satisfying project. Or you may simply see yourself surrounded and filled with color, positive feeling. Take some time to envision what suits you best. And imagine you can make it as positive and as real as you can. Your change begins here. Take a moment to listen to the following affirmations and allow them to resonate deeply within. An endless supply of life and love flows through me for myself first and then outward towards others. I have a great deal to offer but am careful to share myself only when my gifts can be met with honor, appreciation, and respect. I'm happy to share my life with others as long as it is in a balanced and healthy way for us both. Although I am not perfect and I'm still working out things throughout my life, the same is true for everyone. Everyone, including myself, deserves to be treated with kindness and understanding. I deserve to be treated with appreciation, affection, and respect, and not be willing to settle for less. 
be the light in me, be the light in you. Have a blessed day. Namaste.